Okay, before the tutorial starts, I just wanted to apologize that you can hear my keyboard in the background and everything. That's because I had to use my webcam mic. Um, it's been like that for a couple of weeks now because um, the case of my PC just got a loose connection, all those uh, spots for the microphone and headphone wires. And uh, I'm going to get that fixed in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I hope it's not too bad and too loud and you can still understand me, but yeah, anyways, enjoy the tutorial. What's up guys, it's Ben Quirty here and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how I record my cinematics. This was highly requested and once again, uh, I'm not saying this is the best method you can use uh, for cinematics, this is just what I do at the moment. And I'm going to just give you a few tips on how you can improve your cinematics. So. Um, first of all, I'll leave both these um, files in the description, I'll upload them to Mediafire. And this right here is a console, an external console, you can only use this on PC, um, unfortunately. But yeah, with this you can um, load this text file. You just gotta go in the folder where you saved it and then change this to text files and open it. And when the game is open, I'll show you that after you can um, press OK here, send this command, and then uh, your game will change the light effects and the depth of view and all this crap. And with this, if you click it in game, it will do the uh, close up camera effect where it changes the angle more zoomed in. That looks a lot better. You can do that on console too. Um, there's a really good tutorial by Ansel. Um, in case you want to know how to do that, I won't tell you that in this video. But at least you can do this close-up effect on console as well if you want to. But yeah, let's get right into the theater mode so I can show you there how I uh, record my cinematics. So here we go, um, here I prepared a cinematic of a guy um, just running to the spot. And um, now that I got this set up, I'm pretty sure you know how to do that, but then you just gotta come into um, theater mode here, you change from the um, first person into third person mode, and then, uh, yeah, you got your free roam mode right here, and you change to the edit camera, I'm pretty sure you know, um, thousands of tutorials on this. And what I do, first of all, you gotta go on the desktop and um, activate the console, to um, put the command, so I'm going to show you guys this now. You get onto the desktop while the game is open if you press uh, Control, Shift, Escape. Then the task manager should open and it should bring you to your desktop. If it doesn't work, you can try other methods, but I think it should definitely work for PC. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to see you guys there. So, now we are on the desktop, um, and if you don't have the console open now, then you should definitely open it. You can see the game is still running in the background here. But we won't go on that now. You just gotta open the file as I showed you in the beginning. You can also change around the blur a bit. If you can see this 2.5 right here for depth of field or far blur, I'm not sure which one it is. Um, at least where it says 2.5, you can change it to 1.5 to make it lower or yeah, 3.5 to make it higher. Um, I usually have it around 1.5 and then you press OK. So it comes into this command um, line or whatever you want to say. You press send and now um, it changed in the game. Then you just press close up as well. I usually always do that because it looks better. And another quick tip, if you want to record at the even slower speed, you can also enter time scale 0.5. Then it's half the speed then in the theater mode. Or you want it very very slow for certain death cinematics or something, you can also put it to 0.1 and then you can send it. But yeah, we won't do that now. And yeah, let's get back into the theater mode. So now you can open your game. So as you can see here now, um, you got a way better depth of view or depth of field or whatever you call it, and um, the light effects in general just look better. If you start playing it now, um, the zoomed in camera effect gets into place as well. And now we just turned on the speed. I do this with the down arrow in PC theater mode and put it to 0.2. It doesn't go low on PC, but at least you got the time scale command to change that if you wanted to. And now when he starts running, um, what I usually do, I want to change the angle of the camera a lot while he's running. So um, I like to start somewhat behind him 
and a little bit lower. So go about this and don't go too far, um, too spotty, not too close. Be like this and have him in the center so you can see a lot of the soldier because you still got a thing. You'll have like a um, little wiggle on it and widescreen bars, uh, black bars at the top and bottom. So um, he got to be in the picture. So have it uh, around here. Put down a marker with F. So you got the camera here. And now just um, play the scene, let him walk forward a bit and till here where he puts his foot down. And then you can see the, the bottom camera is here, the first one. So the other one we'll place around here. A bit further um, away and have it higher than the first camera so that the angle just changes a lot. And let's place it like this. Let's see if that worked. Um, just go back to this camera. I don't know if it worked. Go back with the arrow to the last um, checkpoint. Now, change into the dolly camera mode again. And what always happens to me, I don't know if everyone has this problem, uh, the zoomed in camera effect stops again, so you gotta go on the desktop again and change that. So, um, yeah, I could, could do that now. So now when I play it, yeah, the zoomed in effect starts again. And now we can just watch this scene. Yeah, that worked out perfectly, and um, you got a nice... Okay, sorry guys, I fucked up the recording there because I stopped recording, because that's just my routine. When the cinematic is finished playing, I press the button to stop recording, because, yeah, that's how I was doing it. And I didn't even realize, so um, what I was gonna say is, um, now you got a really nice cinematic in which the angle of the camera changes a lot, it comes from the bottom, and goes upwards in front of a player which is really good if you got uh, the beginning of a clip in which he runs to the spot, for example. And obviously there are a lot of other methods uh, which I could show you, but um, this really would just be too long. But it gives you a few ideas because it's really important to make the camera angle change a lot, in my opinion. And also make sure to always record at the 0.2 speed. When you speed up the clip afterwards in Vegas or After Effects, you just got a lot more frames than if you record at 0.2. Uh, at the normal speed one and it just looks a lot smoother then you can also use the time scale obviously to make it even slower and um, also very important is that you don't use that external console which I gave you for multiplayer or single player as well I'm not sure about single player but if you use it in multiplayer and you press any command then you probably get banned because it gets detected as a hack um, because it changes up the game files temporarily and you should definitely not do that, only use it in custom games. And um, something else I wanted to show you now is uh, when I do death cinematics, yeah I already prepared the camera here, I um, usually have it starting at the front of the player, just imagine he dies now and I won't set up, set up a separate um, cinematic for it because I need someone else. And Imagine he dies, the camera flies by from the front to the back of him. That's how I usually record my death cinematics because then it, it like flies by the side of the player, you can see the blood spat, and then it goes down below. That's how I usually like to record my death cinematics, whether it's just one person or triple, it just looks really good. And also make sure you don't always use the same side. So the camera flies by to the right, always um, change it up a little bit and have the next cinematics fly by to the right, for example. So just um, got a lot of variety in your edit and looks better in my opinion. So yeah, I'll make a separate video on how I edit the cinematics afterwards in Sony Vegas. Because I don't want this video to be too long and too boring. So um, if you got any more questions, just ask me down below and I will... Um, probably very soon come out with a new tutorial on how I edit my cinematics. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope we could give you some tips on how to record your cinematics. I hope you find it useful with that external console if you're on PC. But anyways, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this and I guess I'm going to see you guys in the next commentary with that sex German accent. Bye.